वेलकम टू अ कंप्यूटर क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई टूडे टॉपिक इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल इंटरफेस स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द इंटरफेस ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल द टॉप मोस्ट बार ऑफ एम एस एक्सेल विंडो इज कॉल्ड द टाइटल बार एंड जस्ट बिलो द टाइटल बार देर इज अ मेन्यू बार इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ होम टैब इंजर्ट टैब पेज ले आउट फार्मूला डेटा रिव्यू एंड व्यू टैब्स एंड जस्ट बिलो द मेन्यू बार देर इज अ रिबन एंड रिबन हैज मैनी ग्रुप्स देर इज ऑल्सो अ नेम बॉक्स वेन यू क्लिक ऑन द सेल इट्स एड्रेस डिस्प्लेज हेयर देन देर इज अ फॉर्मूला बार इन विच वी राइट अ फॉर्मूला there are column headings or letters and there are row numbers there are also sheet tabs by default there are three sheet tabs but we can add more at the end of the window there is a status bar that shows the status of the window and there are scroll bars and there are also zoom controller that zooms in and zoom out the window so i hope you understand the microsoft excel window or interface next students we are going to discuss the components of ms excel number 1 title bar The topmost bar of MS Excel window is called Title Bar. There are control buttons, Minimize, Restore, and Close at the right side of Title Bar. The leftmost side of MS Excel window has an Office button, which includes following functions: Open, Save, Save as, Print, and New. Just below the Title Bar, there is a ribbon. which contains all the command buttons in the form of tabs next is cell the intersection point of a vertical column and horizontal row is called cell now what are columns columns are groups of cells from top to bottom and rows are group of cells from left to right in a worksheet The cell in the worksheet in which you can type data is called the active cell. Next is column headings that are represented by letters and row headings that are represented by numbers. Each cell has a cell address. Cell address identifies the location of a cell. the cell address is the column letter and the row number of that cell so if you combine the b column with row 5 then you get cell b5 the name box is the left corner below the ribbon and it contains the address of current or active cell next is formula bar it lies below the ribbon and the user can enter formula or function in the formula bar for calculation a formula is an equation that calculates a new value from values currently in a worksheet and worksheet tabs are used to switch among the worksheets at the bottom of the workbook three sheet tabs are located ms excel opens these three worksheets by default sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 so i hope students you understand different components of ms excel now students how we can save our workbook there are following steps number 1 click on office button number 
select save or save as option from menu number 3 save as dialog box will appear and number 4 select the location and enter the file name in the file name box and click save button next students how we can enter data in a cell entering data in excel sheets is very simple to enter data in a cell number 1 select the cell by clicking on it and number 2 start typing and the user will see data appearing in the formula bar press enter when the user has finished the typing so students in this lecture video we have discussed the microsoft excel interface and the components of the microsoft excel i hope you understand this thank you